thank you uh, both of you for meeting with us at such short notice. We have a few projects in the works and we just really wanted your thoughts about the casting. Um, okay, so uh, here's the first one. Uh, it's a romance, um, a musical. It's about a struggling actress, unappreciated by the industry, um, even though she's got lots of talent and she falls in love with this passionate jazz musician who loves the history and the, the craft of the music and, and wants to open his own jazz club. Okay, well obviously, um, uh, what did you call them last time? A, a woman of colour? A woman of colour. Uh, they don't have any issues in Hollywood. They don't have any issues getting role. So I think realistically for the story, um, uh, uh, like a young, young white woman makes sense to me. Um, also, the jazz musician character, um, Obviously jazz is it's a white people thing. And actually we've already cast John Legend um, and we can't have two black guys who are interested in jazz with opposing views of the art form they love. We I mean, come on, it's just it's unrealistic. Oh, um okay, um okay, how about this one? Um it's 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 this drama about a cross-section of society, um everyone from a mourning child to the prime minister, and we see love and all of its forms, positive and negative. So big ensemble cast, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, it feels like maybe we almost have too much diversity in the, na in the narrative. Um, so I was thinking, what if we had a, what if we had like less diversity in the cast, right? So um, what if they were all white? Maybe we'll, we'll do one black guy, one black guy, um, and we'll have uh, like no, no gay couples, um, at least not the make the final cut of the film, am I right? Um, and then we'll have um, we'll have one disabled guy, but he'll be sort of like off screen and 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 really just be a, a plot device about how hard it is to have disabled family members. Yeah, I like I like this. I like this. Uh, okay. Um, how about this one? Um, it's it's the inspiring story of, of the women's rights movement in England. Um, it tracks both fictional and real women from history. Um, it's got this inspiring message of women fighting for their rights. Okay, okay, trick trick question. This one's easy, right? They're, uh, they're all white, right? That's historical. Oh, um, actually, there were a number of suffragettes who weren't white, including a literal princess. And they're all straight too, right? Um, I mean, no, again, actual real life iconic suffragettes were known to have had romantic relationships with other women. Great, great, so it's all agreed, it's all agreed, yeah. Okay, um, uh, magicians, men, maybe one hot girl. Magicians, the sequel, all men, maybe a different hot girl. Really? Sweetheart, we're actually throwing you a bone here because all magicians are men in real life. Men are the magic ones. Women are only magic in stories and then normally they're witches and witches are evil. So really, it's kind of a good thing uh, that that's not realistic. Okay then, um, how about this one? Uh, it's set in New York City, it's, it's the height of the jazz age, the roaring twenties are going. Um, it tracks the rise of a dictator that's, that's in parallel to the rise of Hitler in Europe. I mean, we can probably compromise on this one, right? So like, we'll make we'll make some of the cast possibly Jewish, like we'll give them a Jewish sounding name, like it's Gold, like Gold, it's Goldstein, -er, a Jewish sounding name, we'll do that. And I mean, this is a kids movie, so we just need to make sure that it's not like explicit and obvious to the target audience. Oh, this is a kids movie. Oh, well, I was gonna suggest an openly gay character portrayed in a positive light, but I mean, we can't, we can't let kids see that, can we? Oh, no. Um, and the last one. So it's a love story. Straight and white. Sometimes straight and black. Probably not interracial. Or Asian. No gays. Or any of the other ones. You know, any of the other letters. Except maybe bi, but only if it's the girl and only if it's sexy. Okay, you know what? I feel like even if I bought you a story about real life trans women of color, you'd still find a way of making it about a white male. I mean, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please consider subscribing or even supporting me on Patreon. I'll leave a link below. Patreon perks include things like um, behind the scenes stuff, postcards, personalized care packages, and recommendation lists of cool music, articles, films, TV shows, and other stuff that I think you might enjoy. I'm also gonna leave a link to all of my social media so you can find me all over the internet. Until I see you next time.